I filmed this so many times, this is going to border on story time videos. Not gonna lie. But anyways, I'm the Ikus, and welcome to Vinyl and Chill. And we're gonna Vinyl and Chill, alright? Um, first I am going to just be talking about my record collection. And these aren't the record... This isn't like my normal record collection. Well, it is my normal record collection, but this is... The stuff before the 90s. <laughs> and I have a lot. Not really. I only have... I have five. So, yeah. I'm going to be showing you five records from my collection. Because I want to do my record collection in very low doses. Um, I don't know how to... I don't know how to redo this. I don't understand posters. I don't understand what I buy in re- <gasps> I folded it! <sighs> so happy. But yeah, anyways, I don't really know why I go crazy in these record stores. You know, by record stores, I mean the ones that you imagine to be record stores. The ones that don't sell the Crosley turntables that look like suitcases. The ones that have really weird old stuff in them. The ones that smell like old records. The ones that have really weird tapes and you don't really know what they are. The ones with like really weird 60s comp compilations for Christmas in these 99 cent bins. That's what I mean. <laughs> By record stores. And I think one of them was a 79 cent bin and I completely messed up, <laughs> but who cares? Okay, nobody does. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about the time I actually I don't know what record store I went to for this one. Um, if you ever go to um, Paradise Rock Club in Boston, it's towards Alston, like that area, because I know their sister club is Brighton Music Hall. So yeah, that's why I know about the area. And I've been to Brighton Music Hall too, so I've only been there twice. We're not gonna be we're not gonna talk about the time I went to Brighton Music Hall because that's an actual story time. But yeah, I did go to a record store because I why not? There is one near the Paradise Rock Club. It is in a basement. I don't know what record store it is though. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. I've been here two years ago. But yes, I have a 1980s mariachi record in my collection. It is, po I think it's Potato with Tijuana and Blue. I could be pronouncing everything wrong, so I'm sorry if I do. And although this is in plastic wrap, it is like in very crinkly plastic wrap and it kind of just doesn't make sense. So yeah. And also there's plastic covering for it. They got it for $10. I don't really understand anything. I just thought a band named Potato or an album named Potato was interesting, so I got it. And this is why I should not be going into, like, typical record stores and stick to going to Newberry Comics because I buy really weird things. And by weird, I mean quite interesting, like a mariachi record. But also, while I was near the Paradise Rock Club, because I think I was seeing new politics that day, I could be very wrong. Um, the date that I saw them is up there. But, no, I think I saw Magic Man that day. I forgot. Oops. Anyways. I also got this for my friend. He just never took it home with him, so I have it. We did spin this once though. It is the Monkey's Headquarters. We spun it once while we were playing Echo the Dolphin. True story. Because we went to a novelty shop before we before I like, you know, said, hey, let's spin this beach music record. And we someone got Echo the Dolphin in our group, so we all played Echo the Dolphin and old school video games and chilled while listening to beach music. It was one of the best days of my life. Weirdest thing to say on camera. 
but this is literally borderlining <laughs> weirdness, I guess. I don't remember why I was near Paradise Rock Club or why I was in Paradise Rock Club, but I went to the record store and bought things. I'm pretty sure it was New Politics. Oh no, it wasn't New Politics. Because I've only been to Paradise Rock Club one, like twice. This time it was for Magic Man. Now I remember. It was Magic Man, Small Pools. We I mean, know Small Pools is headlining tour. I don't know what it was. It was right before Love Tap came out. It was Magic Man open for them. And I don't remember who else opened. Crap. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Waters did. Waters opened for them. I think. Yeah, Waters did. And I did get a record from there. Now I remember, I got three records that day. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, my friend from the last story gave me this. It is Whenever You Need Someone by Rick Astley. And yeah, the first track is Never Gonna Give You Up. This is from his grandmother's record collection. She gave him her record collection, basically. And he said he'd give me one from it. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And he gave me, like, options. And I'm like, hey, can I have the Beach Boys? And he's like, no, I want the Beach Boys. And I'm like, okay, obviously it is your collection, so... I'm gonna back off. I think I might have said please, but it's just like, whatever. So, another one he gave me was, like, another option he gave me was Rick Astley. And yeah, I took that option. And this was the second record I got. And it's, um, a, a crown, like, a, a jewel in my record collection. Even though it is beat up, it does help me with, um, Grove, um, fixing. It helps me with like figuring that out and yeah it's interesting I do rickroll my friends sometimes they're like hey can you you can choose the vinyl you want to spin and we'll just chill and I'm like okay and then they hear never gonna give you up and they're like Sam that memes really old can you not and yeah it's about it I'm sorry this is like borderlining story time videos but it's whatever now let's talk about the time I went to another record store. I actually remember the name of this record store. It's Cheapo Records in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I saw the Justin Arena Project um, before going. And I went with them. Check out the Justin Arena Project. I'll leave links down below. Um, they opened for Austin Jones. Um, they're actually really nice people. Um, friends with them. Super cool. You know, please check them out. Um, they're really great. So basically, um, yeah, I saw them with Open for Austin Jones. I did check out some new bands there because I knew nobody there except for Austin Jones. And I'm not really a big Austin Jones fan. Like, I don't, I don't really know him as a person or anything. So I can't really say anything bad about him, but, well, now I can't. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't really know. I don't really know Austin Jones. But yeah, I do enjoy, like, the bands that also opened. I do enjoy Curses. They also opened. Run for Run to Cover also opened. Um, who else opened? I forgot who else. Oh yeah, Trophy Wives! I forgot. I went there also to see Trophy Wives, since I always wanted to see Trophy Wives, but never got to see Trophy Wives. I'm sorry. This is more like a Sam Forgets Their Life video. But yeah, Trophy Wives were amazing, and they were super cool. <laughs> but yeah, they're actually amazing live. I enjoy their music. They're so, like, I met a couple members, and I met their, t like, their photographer. They're really chill people. And yeah, um, I did enjoy that concert. Uh, it was very interesting. Um, yeah. I did get a couple records. Obviously, this is a Winter Solstice by um, Win Winham Hill Artists. Like, it is a compilation record of New Age music. Um, the Justin Arena Project's drummer, like, said, you know what, if it's New Age, you know it's, it's gonna be good. So I'm like, I took that advice. I still need to spin this whole entire thing. Obviously, this, the, like, me buying this happened in August. 
but I do need to um, listen to this whole entire thing. I wanted to keep this until winter solstice. I didn't get to spin the whole entire thing. Maybe I will while winter is still going on. But yeah, this is the um, packaging. I do love this packaging and it is not ripped up like the Gasly one. It is plastic and it has all the credits right here. So I just found that really interesting. Also, there's a subscription in here. Like if you send them their e your email, not their, you're not your email since it's from the 80s, but like your address or something. Like you can get these records and like their subscription and like know what's up with their like new releases. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of just, I should not be going into actual record stores. And by actual, I mean the ones that don't sell Crosley turntables. <laughs> I should not shit on Crosley so much. Nope, shiitake mushroom. I'm sorry, YouTube. Everyone messes up. <laughs> like this whole entire video. I forget everything. But yeah, this is another record I got. I found this interesting. It is a compilation of 80s, like... 80s classic rock songs. It is Frankenstein and other monsters. Other no, Frankenstein and other rock monsters. I found this weird sticky note here. I don't know if I bought it like that, but it says first press 1962. I'm gonna try to zoom in on this. Like no, it says original first press. This is printed in well pressed in 1983. So I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, it has some pretty interesting 80s songs like Survivor Eye of the Tiger. You know, that has to be everywhere. So, <laughs> but yeah, there's like a lot of songs on here. You know, I will show you them right here, actually. This is what I got. I should not cover it now. If you can just pause the video and just like check this out. Nope. So yeah, that's actually the whole list. I'm not going to read it to you guys. So yeah, um, here is a vinyl and story time of me forgetting things. And I love you all. And I hope you have a good day and a good night. And a good time and then I'll see you next video. Peace.